Uh, hi there. Um, this is my video commentary to accompany uh, sustainability modeling lecture number eight. Um, in this lecture, we cover a, a pretty well documented uh, sustainability modeling that's referred to as, as Wonderland. Um, and um, the reason I wanted to cover it, um, and I wanted to cover it precisely after we did the handy model, which we did last week, is sort of to contrast and compare uh, some of its features. Um, Wonderland was published, um, I believe, in the early 90s. And, um, and I've included some readings uh, for you to do in the lecture folder. Um, and uh, it, it received a quite a bit of, of publicity. It was also, uh, and actually even today, you can, you can get the model documentation from the uh, International Institute for Applied Systems Analysis, which is a, in, an institution that we've used uh, as, uh, as reference for this class. Um, and um, and uh, so one of them's got us, uh, you know, a few interesting features as you'll see in the lecture. Um, I, I'm not a huge um, fan or proponent of the model as, as it is because I, I think it's been sort of outdated and, and um, but it's got, you know, conceptually it's got some interesting components. Um, first, if you look at the, if you look at the stocks that are handled in the model, you know, you've got population. Uh, you have something that's called natural capital. Um, and uh, you have uh, economic output. Uh, so this is an, this is an actual, um, an, an interesting innovation uh, that uh, was introduced in this model. And it's got pollution as well. So it's got, you know, four stocks. Um, and, um, and, you know, how they relate to each other. I, I have some issues with the model. I think it's got, um, I think it's mathematically a little bit too complicated, you know. Uh, uh, so I, I think that's one, you know, one drawback. It's got too many model parameters, which I think it's also pretty uh, serious drawback, particularly if you want to apply it to, to real world problems. I think it's an issue. Um, but it's got some, you know, some nice features, and, for, and for historical purposes, I thought it would be prudent to, to include it, um, you know, in this class and, and have a lecture devoted to it. Um, you will see that the analysis is a little bit, um, uh, I would say, kind of academic in a way, which is uh, not necessarily a bad thing, but it's something that I, you know, uh, prefer to, to sort of keep, um, uh, uh, to keep, it, uh, keep tabs on it. Um, but I think you'll find it interesting. Uh, uh, do the readings. The readings actually of the model are quite interesting, so I strongly suggest you do that. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much my spiel on, on the model itself. Uh, a couple of bookkeeping items for today's lecture. Um, uh, you should have already seen, um, it's in, uh, in the Facebook page, uh, the instructions for all the assignments uh, in, in the class. You know, the, the blog post, which is due March 28th, uh, so that is... Uh, Friday of next week, so don't, don't keep that day in mind, uh, and um, and then the remainder remainder assignments, uh, the sort of term paper and the and the oral presentation slash final exam. Uh, so please keep an eye, eye on that, um, and uh, you know keep uh, I'm, I'm I'm encouraged. I'm seeing a lot more discussion uh, in the Facebook page. I, I want you to continue to do that. Uh, I hope you enjoy the lecture. That's pretty much uh, what I had uh, in mind for today. Have a good week. Uh, and remember, if you have any questions, comments, please go to the Facebook page. Take care.